When it comes to egg incubators, temperature is king. Topics of this video are the right thermometer to measure the temperature of your incubator, the right temperature to incubate your eggs and of course the right incubator. If you haven't subscribed to our channel then make sure to subscribe and not miss any of our videos concerning incubators and hatching. The right thermometer to measure the temperature of your incubator is kind of really important thing and I see a lot of people doing it wrong. First of all there are different types of thermometers. They are the ones that you use for your home. They are not made to measure incubators. Accuracy of this thermometer is much too low to measure the temperature differences that we have in an incubator. So those are made to measure everything from very cold weather to very hot weather, but they are not really made to measure the tiny differences in an incubator from, for example, 37.5 degrees to 37.8 degrees. And this is a very, very important thing. So this one can be easily 0.5 degrees wrong. And that means that if you use it, you can easily have a temperature which is much too high for your eggs. So the embryos will die at some point or you might have big issues when it comes to hatching and you really don't want to do this. The right thermometer to measure the temperature of your incubator is a special incubator thermometer, like this one for example. This thermometer is just made to measure temperature in your incubator and that means that it has an accuracy of 0.1 degrees. So this is really really good and this is exactly what you need. I will put a link of this thermometer in the video description so you can make sure to get the right one. The next point I want to talk about is the right temperature and I will do this in degrees but it's the same in Fahrenheit, it's just a different level. The right temperature is different for different animals. So if you look at chickens we talk about 37.5 degrees for smaller breeds and for bigger breeds we talk about 37.8 and for ducks, goose, quails we got different temperatures so make sure to look up the right temperature of the poultry you want to incubate. Also you have to look up the description of the incubator that you are using. Some manufacturers advice to go for 37.7 degrees instead of 37.8 degrees. And those small differences, they can already matter. And now we come to the next point and this is the right incubator. Because the differences are huge. On the market you will find a lot of different incubators. There are some really doing a great job and others they don't work at all actually. So for example I got here this really cheap tiny incubator from China and on the other hand I have like a really good high quality incubator from Europe. So I've set up both incubators to 37.5 degrees but first let's have a look at the cheap Chinese incubator. As you can see I've set them up to 37.5 degrees and now we will look up the incubator thermometer and see what it really does. So it goes up and down quite a lot so we first will see how far it goes down. So as you can already see it goes down quite a lot actually to 36 degrees which is not good at all and now let's see how high it goes. So now it went up to 37 degrees which is also not good at all. This incubator goes down to 36 degrees and up to 37 degrees even if we have set it up to 37.5 degrees. Absolutely not what we want to have. And actually the same goes for that Chinese incubator. Exactly the same problem. And this Chinese incubator isn't better too. So with all of the 
Chinese incubators that I have had, I really have to say they all don't match the temperatures that they should. And they all do a really, really bad job when it comes to the temperature. And temperature is absolutely king when it comes to incubators. Here we have a good incubator, which is actually doing what it should do. And I have set it up to 37.5 degrees, like it should be. And now we will have a look what the temperature is showing. So if we look at the incubator, it's 0.1 higher. Now it's no, it's a correct temperature and it actually is always like that. It goes up maybe 0.1, but not really more. And if we have a look inside, we can see that it's 37.6. And actually it is always like this. This thing is so accurate. This thing does its job really well. And this is the biggest difference between really cheap incubators and really good incubators. If you want to learn more about incubators, subscribe to our channel. If you want to find a good incubator, then click on the video description. I will put in some really high quality incubators. And if you like this videos, then don't forget to give your thumbs up and see you next time.